السلام عليكم ورحمة الله This is your final lecture in the writing course 103 and uh, in today's lecture uh, we will be talking about uh, model questions for your final exam so we will practice some questions similar to those that you will have in your final exam um, I want you to know that these questions do not cover the whole material included in the exam. In addition to this, you have to know that we have already covered the book in nine lectures. And in lectures 10, 11, 12, and 13, we studied some supporting material. And the supporting material is included in the exam. It is in the final exam. Now let's talk about the first model in your final exam. Remember and be careful, these are model questions. They are sample questions. They are not the questions in the exam, but they are similar to the, to the exam. هي أسئلة مشابهة في نمطها لأسئلة الاختبار النهائي ولا يجب الاعتماد عليها كلية لأنها يعني لا لا تغطي كافة المادة المطلوبة. The first model choose the best substitute for the underlined words. If the sentence is correct, choose make no change. And we had many examples like this in our lectures, from the first lecture up to the 13th. We studied or we took many similar examples. Let's look at the first question. This is a sentence, I would like to go to the moon. You can see the word the is underlined. Is this correct? or incorrect. Now we have four options. A, do we say an moon or a moon X means nothing. I would like to go to moon or make no change. The same. Don't change the sentence. Which means the sentence is correct. I would like to go to the moon. What, the, what is the answer? Of course, we are talking about the moon. How many moons do we have? We only have one moon, which means it is definite. The moon. We use the article the when we talk about definite things. Okay, the moon is the correct answer. We don't change it. Another example. Uthman is work in a restaurant. Now, Uthman is work, underline. Is this correct or do we have to change it? Do we say Uthman works, Uthman work, Uthman don't work or make no change? What do you think? Of course, Uthman is work is incorrect. We cannot use the verb to be, is, with the base form or the simple present. We don't say, is work. This is incorrect. Option A, of man works. Of man works. Simple present. This is a fact or a permanent state. Of man works. يعمل Uthman. This is the simple present. So we say, of man works. Is, it, is this correct? Or do we say Uthman work? B. The answer is A. Uthman works. The S, the S in the verb is like in Arabic when we say يعمل or تعمل للضمير للغائب يعمل هو أو هي تعمل ي يعمل ت تعمل It's like the S in English. Uthman don't work is incorrect. We don't say don't with Uthman. Uthman maybe doesn't. 
If man doesn't work, is correct. So the answer is A. If man works in a restaurant. This is another example about the simple present. You see these are two examples about the simple present. Of man and Ahmed is work in a restaurant. Of course, this is not correct. This is incorrect. Again, because we don't use the verb to be is with the verb work. So if man and Ahmed works, of man and Ahmed work, of man and Ahmed don't work or make no change. Now, the answer here is B. But also, remember, C is also correct. C is also correct. I have to change this later. Uthman and Ahmed work. Another example. We are still talking about the first model. Namudaj al awwal. Cut the tomato and onion. Tomato, one, onion, two. Before you put them in the bowl. This is a sentence from your book. Now, is this correct before you put them in the bowl? Study this sentence or clause. Before you, subject, put, verb, them, object. Subject, verb, object. This is correct. In the bowl, a prepositional phrase. Jar wa majroor. Yadul al makan. So we have subject, you, verb, put, object, them. Yaud ala tomato and onion. And in the bowl, jar wa majroor. Yadul al makan. This is, is this correct? Or what do you want to choose? Yes, it is correct. Because again we have subject, verb, object. Look at A. A is incorrect. A is incorrect. Before put. Where is the subject you? There must be a subject. A is incorrect. Not correct. Before you putting. We don't say you putting. This is we are giving an order. We are giving an order, asking somebody to do something. And also, you cannot use the ing verb without a helping verb. So this is incorrect. Before you put it, it, but we have tomato and onion, two things. It refers to one thing. So C is incorrect. The answer is D. The sentence is correct. Another example. Their apartment. The sentence is also from your book. Their apartment has three bedrooms and a living room and a kitchen and a bathroom. Is this good English? Is this correct in English? Do we say and, 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 like Arabic. You see, in Arabic, we use wa between the items in a list or a series. In Arabic, we say, for example, ثلاثة غرف نوم wa غرفت معيشة wa مطبخ wa hamma. So, in Arabic, we use wa. Is this correct in English? No. It's not correct in English. Let's see the options. A. Their apartment has three bedrooms, a living room, and a kitchen or kitchen, and a bathroom. Again, this is incorrect because we have two ands. B. Their apartment has three bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen and a bathroom. Do you think this is correct? We will see. Look at C. Their apartment has three bedrooms and a living room, a kitchen and a bathroom. This doesn't sound good in English. Or also it's not correct to say this. 
has three bedrooms and a living room, a kitchen and no make no change, what do you think? you write the answer is B because we only use and before the last item in a series or in a list so we say for example Ahmed, comma, Khalid, comma, and Ali so we have three people but we don't say Ahmed and Khalid and Ali only and before the last item the same thing here another example this is a vocabulary example this is not grammar this is vocabulary مفردات. the scary film or movie was cloudy the scary film or movie was cloudy do we say the film is cloudy we don't describe a film as cloudy cloudy means غائم the film cannot be cloudy we need to change this is it bright also we don't describe a film as bright or careful the movie cannot be careful frightening frightening what do we mean by frightening it makes you afraid it frightens you and remember in the sentence the scary scary مخيف the scary movie was cloudy was frightening so the answer is C the answer is C okay good so again this is not a grammar question it's a vocabulary question one more vocabulary question we worked all day when you work all day for 10 hours or 8 hours is this amazing? is this nice? of course this is not nice what happens to you when you work from the morning to the evening? how do you feel? do you feel happy? do you feel amazed? do you feel interested? it was good? it was nice? we are looking for a negative adjective here, not positive because when you work all day you are not happy you get tired so it was exhausting do you know what we mean by exhausting? we studied this this was one of the vocabulary items in the book exhausting mutab, munhik so the answer must be what? C the answer must be C another example about the first model I am hungry moreover I don't have time to eat moreover what does moreover mean? it means also in addition and now study the two sentences I am hungry I don't have time to eat I am hungry أنا جائع I don't have time to eat ما عندي وقت لتناول الطعام What's the relation العلاقة between the two sentences Do we add moreover it means بالإضافة إلى ذلك Or is there a contrast like but Is it better to say أنا جائع ولا وليس عندي وقت Or أنا جائع وليس ولكن ليس عندي وقت I would use ولكن moreover does not mean ولكن or but which of these words mean but is it however as a result نتيجة لذلك in addition in additions in addition and moreover have the same meaning C cannot be the correct answer because in addition and moreover have the same meaning make no change? no we have to change it so we have A or B what do you think? as a result means ونتيجة لذلك does this make sense? do you say this in Arabic? أنا جائع ونتيجة لذلك ليس عندي وقت no it doesn't make sense so the answer is 
however however means but ولكن so this is the correct word these are words or connectors that we studied in the last lectures now let's move to the second model choose the word or words that best fit or fits in the blank space so we have blank spaces here this is different from the first model get blank for our lettuce at the store you need to know the meaning of lettuce in order to answer the question correctly lettuce means khas and lettuce is it countable or uncountable it is uncountable do we use many with uncountable no do you say like water many water no do you f use numbers with uncountable do you say five water no a we don't use a or an with uncountable nouns so the answer must be d some because we can use some with countable and uncountable nouns so we say some books or some water this is correct so the answer is what d this question is about the countable and uncountable words or nouns another example the man is talking to mary the man is talking to the same sentence we need a pronoun pronoun Bamir him what's the pronoun that refers to Mary her it or them remember that Mary in the sentence here the man subject is talking verb to preposition Mary object of the preposition of all be Mary what's the pronoun the object pronoun of course it is hair hair yes another example this is a longer sentence we wanted to go to the beach we wanted it started to rain and we stayed at home بدأ المطر ينزل فبقينا في البيت what is the relation between the two sentences العلاقة بين الجملتين what is the relation between the two sentences هل هي إضافة addition or contrast تباين أو تناقض أو اختلاف or reason result سبب ونتيجة what we have otherwise you know what otherwise mean it means or and we studied this in the last three lectures however it means but in addition it means and so however however we wanted to go to the beach ولكن بدأ المطر ينزل فبقينا في البيت we stayed at home so you have to understand the relation we have here the relation is contrast this is the sentence otherwise means or or أو. أو does not fit in this sentence in addition and also this does not fit here one more example this is an example about prepositions I usually wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning in 6 o'clock at the morning in 6 o'clock on the morning or on at what do you think now times 6 o'clock 7 o'clock 3 o'clock 3 past 10 past 3 
five uh, five past seven. Anything we're talking about uh, our times. Now here we use at with uh, times, so we say at six o'clock. The morning we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Remember this from the first lectures, the Muhadarat al In the morning, so the answer is A. But we say at night, at night. Another sentence. Every Friday, they play football, they watch television. Two things. Okay? Or, this is a punctuation. Punctuation and coordination example. Now, we have four options here. Every Friday, they play football. They watch television. What is the relation between the two sentences? We have or or so. What do you want? Or أو أو so لذلك. Can we use لذلك? No. Because this is not a reason result relationship. ليست علاقة سببية. So is incorrect. And then the answer must be A or B. Which one of them is correct? Look at A. We have comma or B, comma or comma. What do you think? The answer is A because we only use a comma before or and 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 but. We don't use a comma before and after. Only one comma before. In compound sentences, in compound sentences, remember, we studied three types of sentences in the, f in the last four lectures. We have the simple sentences, and in simple sentences, we don't use a comma before or. We have compound sentences like this one, and we have the complex sentences. So, Remember this. Francisco was busy after lunch. This is a vocabulary question. So I'm for that. Francisco was busy after lunch. Francisco wasn't after lunch. Was and wasn't. Busy. What's the opposite of busy? Naqid busy. Aw ma'ana muhtalif. Busy. Is it bored, crowded, colorful, or bright? Crowded, we cannot say that someone is crowded. We say, for example, the bus is crowded. The room is crowded, but not Francisco. Colorful, we can't say Ahmed is colorful. Colorful means يعني ملون. Bright. The weather or the sky is bright. The weather طقس صافي bright. So the answer must be bored. So when you are busy, you are not bored. أنت مشغول busy. You are not bored. لن تشعر بالملل. So notice the sentence was. And wasn't, was busy, wasn't bored. Okay, it's like good and bad, full and hungry, full and hungry. Okay, another question, also a vocabulary. Notice the sentence Francisco was full at noon. Francisco wasn't so was full full he does not want to eat Francisco was full at noon Francisco wasn't what? sick? full and sick? no tired? tired? hungry? 
or happy? What do you think? You are right. The answer is hungry. So full and hungry are two opposites. Opposites. Another question. Identify the following sentence as either a comma splice or a run on or a fragment or correct. Look at the, the sentence. Now this is the sentence. We are going to have spaghetti for dinner, comma. We are going to have ice cream for dinner and we are going to have ice cream for dinner. In this question you have to look at the type of the question. What is the type of this sentence? Sorry. This is a compound sentence. A compound sentence. Jumla murakkaba. Min jumlatain basitatain. Two simple sentences. We are going to have spaghetti for dinner. One simple sentence. We are going to have ice cream for dinner, for dessert. Two simple sentences. Fil wasat, comma, and. This is correct. If there is no and, بدون and تصبح الجملة comma splice خطأ يعني استخدام فاصلة خطأ comma splice بدون and بدون الفاصلة وال and تصبح run on run on أيضا خطأ جملتين بدون أي ترقيم أو ربط بينهما يسمى run on درسنا هذا في محاضرة سابقة fragment fragment لا ينطبق على السؤال هذا fragment جزء من جملة or correct so is it a comma splice <coughs> or a run on or a fragment or is it correct so this is correct <coughs> what is Another question وما زلنا نتحدث عن النموذج الثاني من الأسئلة الخيارات ملء الفراغ بأحد الخيارات What is the correct sequential order of the following sentences وهذا سؤال طويل ترتيب الجمل ترتيب منطقي تسلسلي sequential order أعطيكم عدد من الجمل number one Two, three, and four. Look at the sentences. المطلوب ترتيبها. Next. الجملة هذه لا يمكن أن تكون في البداية. لأنها next. تبدأ ب next. ثم وبعد ذلك. Mrs. Garcia reads the shopping list. First. Notice sentence first. أولا. إذا number two must be one. First, the Garcia go to the supermarket. Number three, after that, وبعد ذلك. And number four, second. طبعا, you have to understand the meaning of the sentences. And the next, after that, means what? Mean what? بعد ذلك, أو تاليا, ثم. Four, second, ثانيا. إذن, we have first and second. Number two, then number four. Now we have to decide which one is after that. Is it one or three? You have to understand the sentences. Look at number one again. Next, Mrs. Garcia reads the shopping list. Number three, after that, Maria and Mr. Garcia go get the groceries. Then which one is first? حسب المعنى number one before number three. ال ال أسئلة تكون بهذا النمط A two one three four. هل هذا الترتيب الصحيح للجمل? Is it three two one four or four three two one or two four one three? The answer is two four one three. انتبهوا لهذا النمط من الأسئلة because also you have some questions like this. You have to understand the meaning of the sentences and the relation between the sentences. 
نفهم الجمل والعلاقات بين الجمل أدوات الربط أولا ثانيا بعد ذلك حتى نفهم الترتيب الصحيح للجمل أوكي okay. Another question Which is the best way to rewrite the following sentence أعطيكم جملة المطلوب اختيار صياغة أخرى تعطي نفس المعنى The best way to rewrite the following sentence وهذا يعني يتعلق بأنواع الجمل Look at number one Faisal went to school Saad went to school Two sentences نربطهم في جملة واحدة أو نعيد صياغتهم Faisal went to school Saad went to school Is this correct? This is not correct ما يصير جملتين دون أداة ربط أو فاصلة أو نقطة أو شيء Faisal went to school Saad went to school No, this is not correct Faisal and Saad went to school عطفنا الاسم على اسم آخر Faisal and Saad التكرار went to school يحذف هذا صحيح خلينا نشوف C Faisal Saad went to school ما يصير Faisal Saad went to school خطأ Two things or two people لازم أداة ربط بينهما Faisal and Saad Faisal went to school and Saad went to school تكرار خطأ We don't repeat Then the best answer is what? B Faisal and Saad went to school مثال آخر Another question Which is the best way to rewrite the following sentence? أيضا إعادة صيارة It is raining So she is wearing a raincoat هذه compound sentence Compound sentence يعني two simple sentences and a conjunction in the middle conjunction so coordinating conjunction it is raining المطر ينزل الآن لذلك so هي ترتبي معطف المطر it is raining she is wearing a raincoat so سبب ونتيجة it is raining otherwise What does otherwise mean? It means وإلا أو أو It means أو Is this correct? العلاقة سبب ونتيجة Reason result No, this is not correct It is raining However, ولكن She is wearing a raincoat This is not the right relationship It is raining In addition, بالإضافة إلى ذلك and yeah, she's wearing a raincoat كمان incorrect it is raining as a result she's wearing a raincoat as a result means ولذلك so أيضا لذلك so the answer must be what? D إذن D has the same meaning as the sentence It is raining, so he's or she's wearing a raincoat. Notice also in these sentences, before as a result, an addition, however, otherwise, we have a semicolon, فاصلة منقوطة, and we have a comma, فاصلة after them. <coughs> okay, the following question. The same thing, which is the best way to rewrite the following sentence. I live in a place called Disneyland. I work in a place called Disneyland. And remember, these some of these questions are already in your lectures. We discussed these in your previous lectures. Now, if you look at these two sentences... You can see repetition, تكرار كلمات. We don't want to repeat. Let's rewrite the sentences in one sentence and give the same meaning. <coughs> I live in a place and work in Disneyland. No. 
I live in a place called Disneyland and work in a place called Disneyland. Tikrar. No, incorrect. I live and work in a place called Disneyland. What do you think? I live in a place called Disneyland and I work in a place co called Disneyland. What do you think? The answer must be what? C. C is the answer. Live and work. عطف فعل على فعل آخر. أعملوا وأسكنوا في مدينة أو في مكان يدعى Disneyland. He lives and works in Jeddah. I live and work in Hafuf. You see? عطف فعل على فعل. Okay, good. What is the best order of the following words? Tertib kalimat fi jumal are questions we answering the now. نبحث عن الفاعل. We. We have here how many options do we have? A, B, C, and D. أي جمل تبدأ بالفاعل A and C and D إذا B ممكن يكون خطأ After the subject we have the verb What's the verb? Answering No, are answering Present continuous We are answering نجيب عن ماذا? Questions Or الأسئلة The questions when now so the answer of the correct sentence we are answering the questions now فعل فعل مفعول به وظرف زمان فعل فعل مفعول به we are answering the questions now سؤال what is the subject ما هو الفاعل in this sentence Ahmed and Khalid played tennis and football at school yesterday the subject is what Ahmed or Ahmed and Khalid or tennis and football or tennis the subject is Ahmed and Khalid this is the subject الفعل. what's the verb in this sentence what's the verb the verb is played played Okay, now tennis and football and the object مفعول به أحمد أنت خالد subject فاعل played the verb الفعل tennis and football object مفعول به لكن الفاعل أحمد أنت خالد اسمان معطوفان والمفعول به tennis and football شيئان okay now what is the verb in the following sentence ما هو الفعل he laughed and cried at the same time. Laughed and cried, laughed, cried, or he. You know the answer. Two verbs. Laughed, ضحكه وبكي في الوقت نفسه. ضحك وبكي وبكى. Laughed and cried at the same time. So the answer is A. This question is about punctuation. علامات الترقيم. الجملة المرقمة بشكل صحيح هي Is it A or B or C or D? What do you think? I will go therefore مجموعة كلمات درسناها في آخر وحدات آخر محاضرات Therefore As a result Moreover Okay يأتي قبلها فاصلة منقوطة وبعدها فاصلة إذا the answer must be what? The answer must be A. I will go semicolon فاصلة منقوطة. Therefore, comma, you can stay home. And a compound sentence. This is a compound sentence. أعطيتكم جدول بهذه الكلمات في المحاضر بعض في آخر ثلاث أو أربع محاضرات. Which of the following sentences is a complex sentence? من ما هي الجملة المعقدة ال complex? هل هي A or B or C which one أحمد did his homework before he had dinner complex sentences في أشياء تدل على complex sentences اللي هي subordinators subordinators like before after because وأيضا فيها قائمة في 
المحاضرات الأخيرة after before while until as soon as لكن number sentence B أحمد did his homework and had dinner this is a simple sentence جملة بسيطة simple أحمد had dinner and did his homework the same thing simple sentence النموذج الثالث من الأسئلة القطعة والأسئلة قطعة وعليها أسئلة هذه قطعة لاحظوا هذه القطعة فيها فراغات وفيها أرقام وكل فراغ عليه سؤال وأحيانا بعض الأسئلة بدون فراغ لاحظ الفراغ الأول بأول القطعة ما عليه رقم الفراغ الثاني عليه رقم واحد وفي رقم اثنين ورقم ثلاثة وآخر القطعة أيضا فراغ هذه أسئلة سألت عنها كثير الآن السؤال الأول choose the best topic sentence أفضل topic sentence للفقرة لازم نقرأ القطعة ونفهم القطعة من الكتاب my father drove us to the zoo we all had a good time at the zoo some animals were funny I had an interesting trip last July كيف نعرف topic sentence كل الفقرة تتكلم عن هذه الجملة أو تشرح هذه الجملة تعطي تفاصيل عنها This is a paragraph from your book Look at sentence D I had an interesting trip last July ذهبت في رحلة ممتعة مثيرة في جولاي يوليو الماضي هذا topic sentence لأن كل الفقرة تتكلم عنها All the paragraph is about this trip ويتكلم عن الرحلة التي ذهب إليها أو فيها في last July So the topic sentence هي الجملة الرئيسية كل ما يليها يصفها أوكي سؤال آخر نفس الفقرة مكررة مرة ثانية Choose the best concluding sentence الجملة الأخيرة الخاتمة هي تلخص الجملة الأخيرة تلخص أو تكرر التوبيك سنتنس بكلمات أخرى Notice the sentences My father drove us to the zoo هذه جملة تفصيل هذا لا يمكن أن تكون concluding sentence We all had a good time at the zoo استمتعنا في وقت بوقتنا في حديقة الحيوانات هذه جملة ممكن تكون concluding sentence Some animals were funny تفصيل هذا عن أحد التفاصيل في حديقة الحيوانات إذا لا يمكن أن تكون I had an interesting trip last July هذه topic sentence اللي أخذناها في السؤال الأول إذا the answer must be B the answer is B we all had a good time واستمتعنا كثيرا في حديقة الحيوانات this is the last sentence in the paragraph يعني the concluding sentence واضح سؤالين عندنا عن concluding sentence وعن topic sentence الآن الفراغات المرقمة the numbered blanks we have one two three إذن we will have three questions نفس القطعة مرة أخرى question the best word for blank space one in the paragraph أفضل كلمة للفراغ رقم واحد ما هي لازم نقرأ الفقرة ما قبل الفراغ وما بعد الفراغ نشوف ما قبل الفراغ He thought they were scary. تكلم عن الأفاعي في حديقة الحيوانات. Scary. What's the meaning of scary? Scary. مخيف. Frightening. Later on, وبعد ذلك وفي وقت لاحق, we watched an animal show. شاهدنا عرض للحيوانات. فراغ the show. العرض. فاصلة. شو نقول later on? وفي وقت لاحق العرض ولا during the show خلال العرض when the show عندما العرض first the show أولا العرض what do you think طبعا the answer must be what during لاحظ السؤال هذا عن أدوات الربط بين الجمل إذا في أسئلة عن أدوات الربط بين الجمل في القطعة السؤال التالي 
Now, the same paragraph, Sual al Farag al Thani. The best word for blank space two. هذا سؤال مفردات مش أدوات ربط كمان نقرأ قبل وبعد الفراغ Now he doesn't think they are نقرأ جملتين أو ثلاثة قبل الفراغ نتكلم هنا عن الأفاعي He doesn't think they are what funny or scary or good or heavy حسب السياق تفهم الفقرة فيما بعد تجد الإجابة scary His brother first was was scared of animals. He didn't like uh, snakes. Now he likes them. He thinks they are not scary. The last question about blank three, blank space three. لاحظ الفراغ في أول الجملة وقبل وبعد فاصلة. إذا أداة ربط أو أداة انتقال. The best word for blank space three. نختار after that بعد ذلك ولا later on فيما بعد or in the end وأخيرا أو first أولا. هذه آخر جملة concluding sentence. إذا we use what in the end يعني بمعنى finally. It's like finally وأخيرا in the end. إذا هذه الأسئلة على القطعة بالطريقة هذه. قد تكون أسئلة قواعد على القطعة. For example, he likes or he like. And that's all about the final exam. Um, I hope that you uh, do very well in this exam. So study hard and get ready. Uh, if you study hard, it's not going to be difficult, inshallah. Thank you very much. And I will be expecting your uh, questions and emails. Uh, anything you want to ask, you're most welcome. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته